All right, so this is my quick debrief of my uh, MiG-15 flight versus uh, an F-86 flown by Turtle that happened this morning. Uh, I got shot down here. Actually, what really happened is I, I, I believe I got hit once by Turtle. Uh, I heard a clunk. I didn't feel any kind of damage to my aircraft. I'm not really sure it was any kind of major damage. I think he just put a hole in it. I'm not sure. Uh, I can't really tell from the tack view. Uh, what I can tell you, though, is I was really low on fuel when this engagement started. If you can see here, I had 462 pounds of fuel. I'm, like, really close to running out of fuel already. So this engagement only is about, um, uh, really, I would say, uh, less than nine minutes. And in that amount of time, um, I I flamed out because I, I ran out of fuel. And I knew that was going to happen. Um, I only had 10 minutes left to fly anyway before I had to start work. Uh, so rather than trying to uh, make it for home, I purposely went ahead and, and uh, went head-to-head -head with this guy. Now, um, a little bit of setup here. So he is just off from uh, Gudetta. Uh, we were flying south of the, the bullseye. He had asked me... Uh, you know what kind of heading he should head in order to get to me so they could have a quick engagement before I had to uh, start work and I said that uh, I was due east of Gudata which is true uh, that's where I was um, and you see here we're starting out at um, uh, 21,700 feet he is at 19,300 feet um, we are both kind of going the same direction. I don't have eyes on him yet. Um, as soon as I hit play here, he's going to spot me and he's going to start turning into me. It takes me a little while longer before I notice him. Uh, we're about seven nautical miles apart from each other. This uh, cyan li line here is my view or what I'm looking at. I use VR, so I have an Oculus Rift S. That line is where the VR headset is looking. So you can kind of get an idea. I'm kind of missing him initially. When I finally see him, I, I make my turns. I definitely made some mistakes in this flight. Um, you're going to see that. Um, one interesting thing is I kept my speed uh, up. I, I, I was full throttle the whole time. Uh, he actually, I believe, was not full throttle. His speed was slower than me. And that allowed him to turn inside of me. Um, I think if I were to do this flight again, or you know, if the parameters were kind of the same, I probably wouldn't have kept in a turn. I probably would have used my extra speed that I had at the time, and I would have tried to pull away from him. I think I had an advantage from that standpoint. Um, but I didn't do that. Uh, I turned tight, kind of lost some airspeed. Uh, my, my rate of turn was, uh, you know, or I should say, I forget what you call it, the, the distance of the turn, the radius of the turn, that's what I'm trying to say, was much greater than, than his. So he was able to stay on my six uh, and kind of followed me through. There's one point where I, I could have gotten a snapshot on him, uh, but I was just was looking at the wrong wrong place and, and didn't realize it. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and hit play and uh, see how things unfolded here. I'm just going to do this in real time. I'm not going to pause it. The reason I'm not going to do that is because I want to uh, sync this up to uh, the the track view recording that that I'm gonna uh, play later. All right, you see, I'm kind of looking for him. I'm kind of looking out to the west here. I don't really see him yet. He's gonna start turning in. Um, let's do that in a moment. I'm actually increasing my distance from him because I'm flying um, I'm flying at at Mach 0.9. He's only at 0.51, so I've got considerable here. He just dropped his tanks. That's his tanks. He sees me, he dropped his tanks, he's flying into me now. So he's hot. I don't know that yet. I haven't seen him. I'm back out a little bit here so we can see. And I'm looking for him. And I happen to look over my left shoulder and I see him right in the last second. I'm like, oh crap. And I, I start my turn in towards him. And I think that's going to happen right about, right in a few seconds here. I'm not looking at him yet, but I will be. Um... I'm thinking he's somewhere ahead, you know, a little up further here. I don't realize he's kind of behind me. Um, you see I'm sort of heading towards the bullseye, and that's intentional. I'm actually navigating towards the bullseye, because I'm thinking I'm going to try to get it closer to home in case I can try to extend and make it home. Now I'm starting to look over here, uh, make a turn. I think I spot him right here. I'm like, okay. 
So then I pull in a sharp turn. You see, I, I did eight G's there. Um, my speed is still kind of up there. I'm at uh, 0.8. He's at 0.75. So he's increased speed. And I keep turning. I lost track of him. I lost sight of him. And that's my first fatal mistake. I should have never taken my eyes off of him. So I kind of overextended. And you can see my, you know, my view. I'm kind of scanning all around trying to find him. And uh, here we go. He comes in. He flies into my six. I, I see him now. I realize he's about to get on my six. I realize he's on my six. And at this point, we're in a turning fight. And uh, you can see uh, he's pulling some more Gs than I am at that point. But he's his speed is still a 0.6. I'm at 0.85. I'm trying to keep my speed up. Now here, I should have maybe just kept climbing up. But instead, I started heading towards down. I mean, uh, towards the ground. I'm purposely trading off um, altitude for airspeed to keep my speed up. And that may have been the wrong move here. Um, he's turning inside of me pretty much here. Again, his he's managing his throttle. I'm still going full tilt. I'm already at 200 pounds of fuel. See, I've already, already am almost out of fuel. Uh, coming up here, or coming up to the first time he fires, he basically does three trigger pulls. Uh, I'm not sure which one actually hit me. It might have been the first one. It might have been the second or third. I don't really know. Um, I I did see the some tracers whiz by me. And one of those times, I didn't know that he had fired at me. And the other times, I heard a clunk, um, but I didn't see, didn't feel any damage to the to the aircraft. Zoom in here, you can kind of see where this kind of. Okay, there fired me here. I don't think that's when he hit me, but it might have been. I'm I just, I'm just not sure. And I've I've paused this track and I've tried to. I've tried to see if that was when he hit me, and I'm just not, not really sure. Uh, he's still on my six here. I kind of lost track of him. I think I reacquired him. I see that he's still on my six. I'm pulling hard, or I was pulling hard. He fires again and again. I think one of those two got me. I mean, it didn't kill me, like I said earlier I don't think I experienced any any damage per se um, my plane was still flying good except I'm about to run out of fuel I'm down to 55 pounds of fuel uh, things are gonna go real bad here and I know it I know I'm out of fuel I realize that I know there's nothing that I can do um, I'm kind of still on a turn kind of hoping maybe I've lost him in the hills but I don't really I know he's still there I'm just trying to maneuver. Uh, at least I didn't fly into terrain before I ran out of fuel. I kind of, you know, kind of kept it interesting for him, I guess. Uh, and here I reversed at this point. You know, I figured game's over anyway because I'm kind of out of fuel at this point. Here's my jet is spooling down, I believe. I know I'm out of fuel. I'm flaming out. And I pull up. This is interesting. So I pull up thought I was going to bail out, but um, apparently I don't have a, a right key bind configured for bailing out. So I didn't bail out. And he flies right past me, you know, because I'm out of speed. I miss that. I'm looking to the left. I don't notice that he flies right past me. I could have maybe gotten a shot off of, uh, on him. Maybe I could have even blown him out of the sky, even though I had already flamed out. Probably not, but it was worth, worth noting that it's possible I could have gotten him right there. At any rate, I'm going to hit the trees right up ahead here. Uh, at this point, you know, I've got a dead jet. I'm just gliding in, and there's trees all around. There's no safe terrain for me to really do anything there. And there's the, the crash. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, rewind it a bit. And this time I'm going to watch it from his point of view. So I'll flip this over to the turtle and flip this back to uh, me. Um, and I'm going to switch this to pilot view. And we'll back this up eh, right about here. We'll see what he, from his vantage point, what did he see when we were doing this fight.
and unpause. All right. So a little X there. That's I'm a little off screen there. So we can see here that um, he's pretty close, right? He could have fired there, maybe. I'm not sure why he didn't take a shot there. I mean, he's at 3,000 feet, and we close, right? 1,500. He doesn't really have a good shot, I guess. Um, and the closer you are, the better your outcome's going to be in taking out the other plane, I think. Uh, I guess he's, I'm a little far from him. I'm at 4,000 feet. He doesn't want to take a shot because he could easily pull up into me and, and maybe squeeze off some rounds. It's possible he could have hit me from there, but he didn't try. Um, let's see what he does. I see him diving down on me. He's really on my six the whole time. Like he turned inside of me, and I think this is really a function of airspeed, as far as I could tell. Um, You know, I kept the airspeed up, but kind of stayed flying in a, in a turn here. So my turns were wider than, than his. I definitely feel like, I think that might have been the shot where he, he got me. That was the first spray. But it could have been the other two shots that he fired. Um, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I made all the wrong moves here. Now, which is fine. This is a learning experience, right? That's what it's all about. Let me do some of these trails here. A couple more squirts. That was probably the shot that, that hit me right there. It's hard to tell from different views whether he really got me or not. I mean, which of those shots got me? I mean, I, I know he definitely hit me. I just, again, he didn't do any damage to my plane, I don't think. I mean, my plane was flying fine. The only reason I went down is because I ran out of fuel. He would have eventually shot me down. There's no question about that. I mean, I, you know, my my flight path here, the actions that I took were probably not the right actions. I, I'm confident that Turtle would have taken me down even if I hadn't run out of fuel. I mean, I was clearly in the disadvantage and, you know, like right here, you know, if I had fuel, I should not have reversed. I mean, that's easy, easy shot. I'm not sure why he didn't take a shot here. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, I guess the distance is, you know, maybe, I don't know. I feel like I would have taken a shot if this were me on him. I probably would have taken a shot here, but I don't know. You know, maybe I was streaming smoke or something and didn't know it. Now there he flies right by me. And I don't even notice. I don't even notice he's ahead of me. Because at this point I have a dead jet. So, anyway. That's it for this, uh, this debrief. Uh, let me know what you think.